G'day guys, Damo here, and welcome to another Round the Five video. To all subscribers, welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, g'day. So, guys, what we have is the 12 month review on the front runner cub pack drawers. So, obviously we've we've put these guys through their paces uh, over the year, through Cape York, through forestries, um, up to up to the Gulf. So they've, they've had a fair sort of run. Obviously they've been exposed this whole time and we haven't sort of we haven't sort of um, covered this back area up. Now this is this set here is with the two roller slides. So you've got the top slide and the six cub pack draw system in the uh, in the bottom. So as you can see, the rollers still are sliding easily. Um, not much dirt or dust getting in those at all. There's a little bit. So every now and again, I'll just give them a, uh, a touch up with a bit of WD-40 or a bit of lube spray, and um, that seems to keep them keep them going alright. Something, something I will add. I get asked all the time, how do I secure the um, our fridge into the drawer system itself? And simply, I tie in, I tie a loop of 550 cord or paracord, depends what you want to call it, um, just into one of these little eyelet holes and I'll do the same on the back and pull it to the side and that keeps the fridge, uh, that's a 65 litre fridge, just in case you're wondering, um, that keeps the fridge from moving back and forwards or from even uh, trying to jump out from, from the sides. So like I said this is the cub pack version that means it's got the um, the six smaller smaller style um, cub pack drawers. Now something I had to do with these is I'll take this one because I think it's on an empty one. Here's an empty one. Inside the drawers, you can see they come with. Uh, drain holes in the drawers. What I've done is added a bit of silicon to those drawers and plugged those holes up. So you don't get any dust or anything <coughs> excuse me, inside. So I'll just take these out. That's quite simple. What I really like about this style set of drawers, instead of having one big run of drawers or two runs of drawers either way you've got yourself six individual uh, little cub pack boxes obviously is what they're called so you can take you can take them in and out as you um, as you see fit Okay, so now that we've got the uh, drawers out, you can see it's a skeleton frame setup. So that that leans itself to being really lightweight compared to any of the other drawer setups that I've uh, that I was looking at at the time. This seemed to be the lightest and most simplest um, style to put in. Now I was having problem with uh, the. The drawers sliding back in if you're on a on a bit of a decline facing down. But what I've done is I can flick this latch over. I've worked out if I just lock it, it catches itself on the tailgate, and that keeps it open. That gives me at least four boxes worth of um, worth of stuff exposed that I can I can deal with the first uh, sort of four boxes. Now. I did mount these guys in with four uh, set nuts and screws to go in the top there. That's worked. That's worked perfectly. I have, however, managed to damage this one on the passenger side. This one keeps shaking out. So 
I've had to fix that once before and I need to fix it again. You can see it's not, um, it's not in there now. If I had to do it all over again, I probably would have set the drawers back about another 40 mil, maybe, just to clear the, um, the pressed steel on the inside, which to get a good bite in on there, it seemed like it was it was fouling with some of the pressed steel, but um, I probably would have just set it back about uh, 40, 40 mil. What do I like about these drawers? So I really like the fact that it has the roller top and the roller bottom. So that allowed me to use the top as a fridge slide and saves me the weight of, I think fridge slides are about 60 kilos could be wrong, but they're fairly heavy. So to add a fridge slide on there with the fridge on top of that, that's just gonna add a lot more weight. So I am happy that uh, I did get the model with the with the two slides, you got your top and bottom. And I am happy that the, um, that everything's in this box style configuration because that literally it makes it a breezy camp you only got to take the box out that you need if you got to take it out at all and you know everything goes back compartmentalized into uh, into the system itself what I don't like uh, I mean it's pretty hard I'm being picky with this now because I actually really like this set of drawers and, and would I buy a set again hands down they I feel like they're really good for the uh, application that I'm using them for anyway so you might have a little have something different but um, if I was to do it again maybe maybe I would go to the larger size next size up which um, which is the wolf pack version gives you slightly larger drawers and a bit more uh, leeway to put down some stack your stuff in your drawers a little bit different to to this so uh, kind of find yourself nitpicking and and how to pack stuff in but other than that, it they're raised up and off off the bed that I've used. I've used the bed liner in, so it gives me it's raised up enough that debris and dirt can still flow out from underneath. So nothing really gets jammed in there. It stays fairly clean. So I actually quite like it. I'm really struggling to find some bad points about these uh, about the drawers, to be honest. Um, okay, so I've thought of one. A bad point for these drawers is you have to be very careful when you're stacking things up and around or beside the uh, beside the drawer set itself because the top drawer moves and opens basically up into the cavity you can get a strap or something fall down in this top section and it will catch and you won't be able to close that properly but I mean that's really splitting hairs great set of drawers Nice and light, would I buy them again? Definitely. So there you have it guys, simple as that. Four bolts, straight from the top. Slide your drawer system out. It's easy if you've got two people to help. Um, and you, what, you, what that does now, is you get your ute back. So you can use it for your day to day tasks. Load your drawers back in for the weekends, or your long trips, and you're good to go. Well, guys if you have any more questions, something that I didn't cover or that you specifically want to know, drop a comment down below and I generally get back to everyone. In the first hour that a video is released, I'm online answering everyone's questions anyway. Um, but right now, I'm about to take the boy out to go ride on his quad bike and hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. You.